Jamie Lee Curtis is triggered AF. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. Today I want to talk about Halloween 2018. Um, I saw it last night and it's not Halloween anymore, it's... <laughs> almost Remembrance Day, which means that it's been Christmas for about a week. Yeah, last night we went to go see Halloween, the 2018 version, with Jamie Lee Curtis again. It was a good time. I, for one, enjoyed it, and I've heard that this movie's gotten some mixed reviews, but I want to talk about it from a PTSD perspective, and how freaking spooky that movie was. Because it, it was. It made me jump quite a few times. Being a person who has experienced trauma, one of my symptoms is um, heightened startle reflex. So jump scares in movies, just, they, they work on me. Every time, probably three times as well as they're supposed to. <laughs> I enjoyed this movie. There weren't too many jump scares, but there were some of those like, jump type of things. I guess like a jump scare, yeah. <laughs> so there's gonna be spoilers in this because I don't know how to talk about anything without talking about it in great, great detail. Something that I, what is my dog eating? At the beginning of this movie, Jamie Lee Curtis and her daughter don't have a great relationship because of the way that Jamie Lee Curtis's character, Lori, raised her daughter after the horrendous traumatic thing that was Halloween and maybe Halloween 2. Not Halloween 3 though, Season of the Witch had pumpkin masks and that was freaky on a whole other level. We're not gonna talk about Halloween 3. So yeah, her and Michael Myers have a history and he's being transferred from one prison to another. She's all spooked out of town and everything, which is reasonable because trauma never goes away. Okay, trauma can be healed and you can learn to cope with it, but your brain has programmed itself to be like <gasps> every time it sees something that it associates with the feeling of almost dying by the edge of Michael Myers' blade on Halloween. So your brain perceives something as, oh, this is dangerous, better fly, fight, or freeze. So it picks one of those three things and does it. That's what we call being triggered. So Jamie Lee Curtis is triggered AF by the fact that Michael Myers is gonna be transferred to another like a high security prison soon. Yeah, she's talking to her daughter about it. And by talking to her about it, she's like, do you have a gun? Lock all your doors. Rah! Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter. Um, fun fact, she's played by Judy Greer, who I love. She tells her mother in the movie, hey, get over it. It happened like, 40 years ago or something crazy. Uh, my math is off for sure. But it happened so long ago, it's in the past. You need to let him go. Say goodbye to Michael, you're being dramatic. That's not how it works. Trust me, I'm sure Lori Strobe would love, love to forget about Michael Myers. And I'm sure she'd love to get over it because it's freaky thinking about your friends being murdered and you almost being murdered and just it's, very spooky. It's not something you just get over. Don't get me wrong, some people don't get PTSD from traumatic events. Some people just, their brain doesn't fall into that pattern of thinking. I'm very happy for those people. But Lori, aka Jamie Lee Curtis, was not one of those people. She for sure has PTSD, as we can see from the fact that she's just so obsessed with keeping herself safe from Michael Myers. Her house has um, cameras and like floodlights outside. If somebody came after me with a knife, I would, I'd probably do the same thing. And she has a little like safe room underneath her. Yeah, cause this makes sense, Kalayla. Her kitchen island moves and there's like a safe room hidden under it. She put some time and thought into that, I think. So like, obviously she has been deeply traumatized, deeply, deeply traumatized by, you know, the traumatic events of her past. So she just is obsessive. Well, no, obsessive isn't the right word. She's <laughs> hypervigilant for sure. I was telling my boyfriend about this in the car on the way home. That movie was so scary for me as a person with PTSD because it's kind of something you hear from someone at some point in your life, hopefully not too often, but when you get triggered, 
sometimes people will be helpful and tell you that you need to get over it and uh, just all the things that Laurie Strobe's daughter says to her in Halloween 2018 just like it's in the past get over it na 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 whatever for Jamie Lee Curtis aka Lori it's real it's happening over and over again in her mind as she prepares her home for the inevitable thing of Michael coming back for her the fear is so real and the fear is everything it may be hard to understand you may think like oh yeah I get it the fear is real, but no. The fear is so real for this woman. It's all she can think about. She's agoraphobic. She doesn't like leaving the house. It's horrifying and really sad. And I get that it's kind of a drag to be around someone who is horrified and sad all the time, but maybe, just maybe, don't tell them that their thoughts and feelings and fears are invalid. There are other ways of doing this, um, but not everybody knows that, so I thought it was a pretty good representation of how people with PTSD are often treated by people who don't understand it. But the thing that's scary is that with trauma, you know, you know in your mind that it's not real, it's not happening again, it's not going to happen again. You're safe, you already went through it, it's in the past, like it's not in the past, but like it happened already that part is done. You just relive it a lot, but you know it's not real. No matter how real it feels and looks and sounds and whatever, you know at your core that it's not real, but the fear is still there and your body reacts the way that it would have in the moment. But you know it's not real. And then in this freaking movie, oh look, he escapes and he comes back for her because of course that was always going to happen. Halloween wouldn't be Halloween without Michael Myers, which is why we're not talking about Season of the Witch. But just looking at it from a trauma standpoint, it's like, oh yeah, maybe my daughter's right. I should probably get over it. Oh, hi, Michael. I see you in my backyard. You know, where you're not supposed to be. <laughs> so it's just like, your trauma's gone. It's, it happened. It's over. It's, it's not real anymore, Lori. And then it was real. <laughs> so it's just like, that's my worst nightmare, that my hypervigilance is not for nothing, you know? <laughs> and anyway, talking about the movie as a movie in general, I really liked it. There were some parts that were like pretty cheesy and then there was one part that I just, I don't think I can get over it. It was too much. I physically cringed in the theater. When the police car hits Michael Myers and then the driver gets out and he's like, oh, I'm gonna kill him because duh michael's psychiatrist jumps out of the car and kills the cop that was driving because obviously he needs him alive for his research and then he puts on the michael myers mask the william shatner mask i think he puts on the mask and then he grabs michael myers by the ankles and drags him into the vehicle at one point he's like now i understand how it feels and it's just like big yikes super cringe not really into it too cheesy not necessary you could have found another way to progress the plot but uh anyway that happened and then the rest of the movie is pretty good there's some logic in Lori's house that just doesn't really make sense to me there were no bars on the window that he came in through upstairs oh wait was that at her daughter's house i don't know there were windows open at some point because of course there were but overall i thought it was true enough to the original for me to be like oh yeah like this is a halloween movie like the soundtrack had the classic like i can't hum the classic halloween theme. I thought the soundtrack was pretty good. True enough to the original, but it was its own thing. The characters I thought were great mostly. I'm pretty easy to please with movies though. Like, I'm sure a die-hard Halloween fan would be like, that's not my Halloween! That's fair. But I had a great time. I had frozen yogurt and cherry coke. I mean, I was already set up for success. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments down below, and uh, let me know your thoughts on the trauma part of it, I guess. Uh, anybody with PTSD who's seen that movie, did the jump scares make you almost poop yourself a few times? And do you think that what's her Jamie Lee Curtis has PTSD?
talk to me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. And don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today. Bye. I used to be overwhelmed by every little thing. Torn apart, unraveled at the seams. I think it rooted in the way I breathe. Mm.